Hello everyone, how are we all doing? So, I've been putting off a Piano Tiles video for a while now because, well, it seems like everyone and their grandmother has taken Python classes and made a Piano Tiles bot or AI as their very first project and uploaded it to YouTube. But you know what? Screw it. Mine will be faster and better than everyone else's and I will achieve the world record. At least I hope so. So first things first, I need to find somewhere to play piano tiles. I originally had the idea to use an emulator to play the actual game on an emulated phone to get the real original game experience. But uh, what? Are you serious? <laughs> Who's putting an anti-cheat on an offline phone game, man? So I had to resort to using a version of piano tiles on some website. I'm not sure if it's close to the original game at all, but It'll do. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm pretty decent at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, hold on. <laughs> wait, that's a bit fast. <clears throat> okay, I think it's time to automate this bit. So the reason why there's a ton of videos on this is because, well, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is take a screenshot of the screen, check for a black pixel in each lane, and if there is a black pixel, well then that's a tile, so click it, you dummy. But the real tricky part is to make the program efficient so it runs as fast as possible so it can get the highest score it possibly can before it's so fast you are literally not able to see the tiles anymore. There are a few things to consider when doing this. The main one is the screenshot itself. Taking a screenshot and analyzing it takes a lot of computing power. Well, if you're taking like a thousand screenshots a second, that is. So to make it as efficient as possible, I am taking a screenshot of the four lanes with a height of one singular pixel. Yep, that's right. That's all I need, baby. And also, it doesn't matter at all if a screenshot has color or not. All we need to check is if a pixel is black. So to make it even more efficient, we make the screenshot black and white and simply check a pixel's intensity because it's way faster than checking for RGB color. Then there's also other optimization stuff like what Python libraries to use for screenshots and the clicking, but uh, that's all the nerdy stuff that doesn't matter. So uh, point is, I chose the best, I think. <laughs> Let's give it a try. off from 500. That's so unfortunate, man. Uh, I'm not too happy with this result. I'm pretty sure I've seen people do way better than this, so I'm gonna try something a little different. So far, I've been using Python to write this program, and for the non-programmers watching, Python is known to be pretty slow in the programming multiverse. So when it comes to tasks that require the absolute highest levels of speed, it ain't too ideal. So I decided to use its evil counterpart, C++. If I could explain the speed difference between the two, think of Python as a little kid riding a bike with safety wheels and C++ as a fighter jet breaking the sound barrier. You get the idea, it's fast. Except there's only one issue. I've never touched C++ in my life. Hmm, yes, yes. <clears throat> yep, that's, uh, that, that, that's about right. There we go. Nicely done, Tyler. Really outdone yourself this time. On top of converting it to C++, I added some extra optimizations, which I should have had in the Python version, but let's overlook that because it's here now and it should make it even better. So let's see how far I can go.
pretty good. Much better than 499. I would like to confidently say that I achieved the best score on YouTube, but someone is definitely gonna correct me in the comments. Imagine if there's someone who managed to get a higher score without a bot or AI. That would be a blow to my ego. Well, if you guys liked this video, then like. If you didn't, then dislike. Subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next video, baby.